This payphone on Cleveland's east side is still intact, but just barely. The front cover is twisted back where a thief with a crowbar tried to get inside. But instead of money, he was after this, the computer brain of the phone, worth up to 300 bucks on the black market. We have had in our route, uh, we've had 17 phones uh, broken into and the boards removed. Uh, in a matter of a week, uh, here in Cleveland, there's been about 100. Jerry Berger is the CEO of AmeriCall, one of roughly two dozen payphone companies operating in the Cleveland area. Unlike the giant Ameritech, whose thousands of payphones depend on a remote computer to process calls, AmeriCall's smart payphones have the computer inside, and there are no shortage of buyers willing to pay for it. We found dozens like this on the Internet. AmeriCall has fitted an armored shield to almost all of its payphones, except the one Leslie Terry wanted to use. If the phone is out of order, that makes it even worse on my part, or if it's broken or anything, it makes it worse on my part, and I have to, you know, drive another block or so to use another phone. Mark Toma, the 10 o'clock news.